The House of Commons has condemned an alleged Iranian plot to assassinate former Liberal Justice Minister Erwin Kotler. MPs in the House unanimously supported a Bloc Québécois motion saluting Kotler's human rights work and recognizing his political contributions and condemning what it termed death threats orchestrated by agents of a foreign regime. Meanwhile, in Lebanon, Israeli airstrikes targeted the heart of the capital near parliament and embassies. The Globe and Mail first reported that the RCMP warned Erwin Kotler on October 26th of an imminent threat of assassination within 48 hours, adding that Kotler, a critic of the Iranian regime, has been under RCMP protection since the October 7th Hamas attack. Meanwhile, in Israel... Emergency services and security forces rushed to a site in central Israel where four people were wounded today during a Hezbollah rocket barrage. As you can see behind me a short while ago, projectile impact landed right here in the city of Nebrak, a residential area with lots of civilians around us. We're talking about multiple impact sites. Right now, as we know, there are four injured in various conditions, according to medical sources. Israel's army said that the damage and injuries were caused by most likely shrapnel from the inner Interceptor launched against a missile, while Israeli police said it was a direct hit by a rocket. In Lebanon, two Israeli missiles struck central Beirut, killing at least four people and injuring 18 others, according to the Lebanese health ministry. Smoke was seen rising from the location, a short distance from where the Lebanese government is headquartered. It was the second consecutive day Israel hit a target within the capital as it presses its campaign against the Iran-backed Hezbollah. Israel has intensified its bombardment of targets in and around the Lebanese capital over the last week, an escalation that coincided with signs of movement in U.S.-led diplomacy aimed at reaching a ceasefire. We have been at this for some time now. Um, we have been sharing proposals, um, both with the government of Lebanon and the government of Israel. Both sides have reacted to, their, to the proposals that we have put forward. There has been uh, an exchange of different ideas uh, for how to see what we believe is in everyone's interest, which is the full implementation of uh, UN Security Council 170, Resolution 1701. And we're going to continue to stay at that process because we believe a diplomatic resolution is key to allowing uh, the fighting to stop. A top Lebanese official told Reuters that Lebanon and Hezbollah have agreed to a U.S. proposal for a ceasefire with Israel, with some comments on the content, describing the effort as the most serious yet to end the fighting.